So Sydney is very special for Aboriginal heritage, uh, particularly the sandstone country. So you've got Hawkesbury sandstone, which just by its weathering creates these wonderful shelters. So there's, whenever you've got an overhang, you've got the potential for rock art. Uh, there's also uh, obviously archaeological deposit. You can find evidence of stone tools, shell middens because of the marine environment associated with it. There's, yeah, you, and, a, and a shelter also is in a grading landscape, so for the archaeologists, there are areas where the deposit is getting deeper, therefore there's more history buried, so they're really important that way. This is a fairly typical council reserve in northern Sydney. We've got a patch of bush, we've got sandstone outcrops. This one has a little shelter in here and it's actually got rock art in it. So you've got a figure here in red ochre. You've also got another figure here, it looks like a long tail out the back. And there's also some charcoal figures here. And this shelter also has a uh, shell midden in the floor. So obviously people were camping here, having a meal. When you're looking around the landscape, what you're looking for is something that doesn't fit to the natural landscape. So if you find a pigment on a rock shelf that doesn't look natural, how did it get there? One of the challenges we have in the Sydney area is many sites have already been damaged through past actions. So it could be a sewer line that's gone through, could be a road or a path. Um, also, in this case, a hose, water pipe. So many sites have some damage to them. So we're in a, another council reserve in northern Sydney. Uh, this is quite close to a walking track. There's rock art in it, there's shell midden. It's a very big shelter, quite a significant shelter. And as you can see, it's covered in graffiti. And graffiti is very difficult to remove because you have to be very careful not to impact the rock art. So we have quite a bit of rock art in this shelter. We've got some red ochre images along the top panel and over here we've got some, quite a few figures in the same panel. There are many, many sites. There are hundreds of sites in Northern Sydney alone. There's about a thousand recorded Aboriginal sites in the partners, partner councils of the Aboriginal Heritage Office. There's many more thousands in national parks. This stuff is thousands of years old. The sites aren't getting newer, fresher. They are decaying, they are eroding away. The rock engravings are becoming harder to see. Hopefully the Aboriginal community will drive the decision of whether to regroove some sites. Most of them will disappear.